18-year-old Chloe Cole, a Northern California native, is suing Kaiser Permanente, who allowed her to undergo radical procedures to treat her gender dysmorphia. We're suing uh, a number of doctors and, and different medical uh, inst groups um, on behalf of uh, Chloe Cole, who was diagnosed with gender dysphoria at the age of nine. Paul and Jonah, one of Cole's attorneys, told NTD that she underwent transgender treatments between the ages of 13 and 17 without giving informed consent. Jonah says that Cole was given puberty blockers, prescribed off-label sex hormone treatments, and underwent a double mastectomy. Our position is that these treatments amounted to medical experimentation. Uh, there was not proper informed consent, and there was lies told by the doctors to Chloe about the success of the uh, treatment, and um, there was not sufficient discussion of the potential risk. Cole's legal team sent a letter of intent on November 9th, which accuses the Permanente Medical Group, Kaiser Foundation Health Plan, Kaiser Foundation Hospitals, and multiple doctors of malpractice. The treatment uh, caused her significant emotional and economic harm. And so we want to hold these doctors and institutions accountable under the law um, monetarily. And there's a whole host and a litany of scientific literature that suggests that this is the wrong protocol for gender dysphoria in children, because the vast majority of children with gender dysphoria have that resolved by the time they reach adulthood. The letter states defendants never once informed Chloe and her parents of other legitimate options, such as monitoring Chloe's psychological condition and or receiving non-invasive psychological or psychiatric counseling or treatment. Cole alleges that medical professionals also coerced Cole's parents that she was, quote, at a high risk for suicide unless she socially and medically transitioned to appear more like a male. There's really been no controlled or long-term follow-up studies uh, demonstrating um, long-term psychological or physical health of children who go through this treatment. Jonah stresses that doctors and institutions need to be held accountable before prescribing such radical and experimental treatments to minors. He says that financial motives are unfortunately playing a big role within the medical community. Well, we know that the... Uh... The doctors and the institutions have a major financial incentive. Um, different uh, investigations are revealing there's big money behind this, the cosmetic surgery, the follow-up appointments that are going to be needed for the rest of these people's lives. It's really a tragic and, and sick um, industry. According to a November 10th statement, Cole expressed pain, regret, and injustice. She states, quote, I will see to the fact that the blood and tears of detransitioners like myself will not lay waste. It is impossible for me to recoup what I have lost, but I will ensure no children will be harmed at the hands of these liars and mutilators. Uh, we also want to set precedent going forward um, that ensures that if doctors or institutions are going to go down this path with minors in the future, they need to follow um, the appropriate protocols. Kaiser Permanente has 90 days to settle the case or respond to the letter of intent to sue before a lawsuit will be filed. Officials from Kaiser Permanente have not responded to multiple media requests for comment.